Well, it's the end of June and the clock, the economic clock, the ticking time bomb is about to expire. There's a few things that are getting ready to happen and we're going to see what the government body of the Congress and the president, what they will do because there's about to be a lot of pain. First of all, the additional $600 per week unemployment benefit on top of the state's unemployment is set to expire July 31st. What does this mean? There are many people who are getting an additional $2,400 per month that they would have not gotten without the CARES Act of Congress. And Donald signing that thing. $2,400 is more than most states' unemployment plans pay out. So to lose this is going to be very, very painful. Another ticking time bomb. Many states are eliminating the moratorium on evictions. There are many people two to three months behind on their rent. Here's another ticking time bomb. The economy is starting to percolate, but there's another drag on the economy. There are people who are not participating in the economy and we are still having layoffs. So since it's almost the end of June, going to be interesting because you know it's very hard to google unemployment for june you get all of this stuff you don't want all of this garbage but the numbers should be out next week for the month of june another ticking time bomb it's an election year we have five weeks before we enter into that 90 day window Five weeks. So expect to see a lot of stuff going on. Donald Trump, after his dismal rally numbers, is like, hey, we're going to cut the people a second check. How fast are they going to do it? I really, really expect this to be formalized somewhere in August so it'll be fresh in the American people's mind come voting time. That's another, you know, we've got all of these ticking time bumps. Oh yeah, we got this. 22 states have increasing Rona infection. State of Texas, which was behind the state of Georgia in the beginning, you know, we were about 1,500, 2,000 cases ahead of Texas. Texas emergency rooms are being overwhelmed. Their hospital beds are being full and just a week ago, Governor Abbott was like, oh, it's all fine in Texas. Just a week ago. Utah is looking at closing down the state again. They're very seriously considering this. So we've got all of these economic ticking time bombs. We got the Rona. We got the ex expiration of additional unemployment benefits. We have increasing unemployment. Oh, yeah. We have a record number of corporate bankruptcies. People who are filing for bankruptcy. It's not ever been this high before. So this is something else that is going on. We have all of these ticking time bombs that are going to need some type of intervention or they're just going to go boom. I don't really know what's going to happen because literally we've got five weeks before we enter into the danger zone of the election year. Donald is very unhappy. And once again, I'm not going to be dismissive of the ability of Donald Trump to defy gravity, the impeachment, all of the gaffes, all of the things he, oh, He's been able to get away with all this stuff and more. 
And there is a good chance that he could win re-election, which will be the first time ever a president has won re-election with a bad economy. First time this has ever happened. You know, I was doing a little research on FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, only president to serve four terms. And then Congress changed the term, the ability for a president to serve so many terms. But <clears throat> one of the first things he did was start all of these social programs when he got in office. I think this is one of the reasons that he was able to do four terms is because of the social program, Social Security, uh, the infrastructure projects, the building of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is the kind of action that we're going to need to see out of our congressional and presidential body. Those kind of programs, we're going to need to see that. And I don't know if they're coming because with these ticking time bombs, also home prices are starting to fall, which I told you guys they were going to fall. You know, rents are going now because demand is down. And this number of how many people are unemployed is kind of hard to pin down. But this bomb is going to go off and I feel, or I should say multiple bombs. It's not just a one big fat bomb. It's multiple bombs that are about to go off. And I think a few of them are going to explode. I don't think Congress is going to reactivate the additional $600 per week. I don't think that's going to happen. At best, they may do an additional $300, which means that people are going to lose $1,200 that they were accustomed to getting. That is not going to go over well. <laughs> it is not going to go over well. You thought the rioting in the streets for George Floyd was something? This will pull more people out of their houses. This will pull more people into the streets. This will get more people active because you just can't do that to people. You know, I've been talking about universal basic income, and this is what this an additional $600 per week is kind of like a universal basic income of 2,400 bucks per month. Once you start giving people money, to do nothing, oh, all bets are off. It's gonna be real hard to pull that back. And they pull it back, folks are gonna, folks are gonna bitch and moan about it. There will be people who will be real vocal. It's like, I got children to feed. Baby Jojo need formula. Don't be taking the money away from me, man. So we're, we're about to see some strange stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and put out some predictions. I don't feel that they're going to do the $600 per week. At best, they will renew it for 300 bucks per week if they do that. I don't think the second stimulus check is going to get pushed through or it may get approved in July, but I don't think people are going to get checks until August or September. In some cases, October. That is if it goes through, because once again, Trump has said, I want to cut the people another check. I want to give them a generous check. But let's see, there's something else that's happening. The GOP Senate has realized that Trump is very vulnerable right now. And they're not as scared of him as they used to be. I've been hearing people been saying some stuff about the Donald that they wouldn't have said two, three years ago. They're feeling a little emboldened. They're feeling like, hmm, I can say this, I can get away with it. So <clears throat> I still feel that they're going to work something out because America wants another stimulus check. But I don't feel that they're going to be in a hurry. And at the final hour, this thing could be dead on arrival. Because the roadblock, like let's say if they had did this a few months ago when Donald's um, stay in power was still pretty high. Yeah, they, they, they've been working on it, but now I don't really know. You know, I'm gonna say 60% for, 40% against. 
And that number may change because in the year of the murder hornet, we've got a lot of stuff to consider. Also, we're getting closer and closer to 2021. This is when unemployment runs out. This is when a lot of these additional programs run out. And this is when the proverbial S-H-I-T is going to hit the fan. This is when the forbearance runs out. And once again, there are many people who are like, hey, that they're going to work with the people because they don't want these houses. In the first financial crisis, which was driven by bad mortgages, we had 4 million people file for mortgage modification and only three to 4,000 people got it. Those were some pretty hard times. So just because they should doesn't mean that they are. I feel the similar thing is going to happen again. There are many people who fortunately there's a lot of people who have equity in their home and they will be able to sell and unload these houses before it messes up their credit. So if you're in the market for a house 2021, February, March, April, beyond, and here's the thing. If you're looking for a house, know where you want to buy a house. Start studying that market right now because all real estate markets are local. So you just can't look at a newspaper headline about the real estate market because like take Houston, Texas during the great recession, there was no housing recession in Houston, none. Housing prices remain high, flippers and uh, people were still doing double monkey backflips all over Houston. So you got to look at your location. And if your location is some, like near a lot of good jobs like Seattle and Amazon, you know, so you need to start studying your real estate market right now. So you know what goes on. Like I've been studying the real estate market I'm in, and this is how I know that housing prices have gone down that people are starting to get a little desperate. People are starting to make some deals because understand mortgage applications at an all time high, but are these applications being approved? That's the question. And also the number of houses that were on the market, because I'm seeing houses that people were going to sell. They, they go, they, don't, they didn't even try to sell it. They just go straight to rental. They just like, ah, we ain't even gonna try to sell. We're just gonna try to rent this puppy out. Get it, get it rented, get us a tenant in there for a year or two, ride the year of the murder hornet out, do what we need to do. But 2021 is six months and a week away. And that is when a lot of this stuff is going to hit the head. And what, you know, what are people gonna do? Because you've been laid off, then your, your, your company said, we going out of business, and that temporary layoff has turned to permanent. All of my V-shaped recovery people on Facebook have stopped posting that crap. It's about time. Y'all were foolish to even think that this was gonna happen. It's just too much damage. But once again, you've never run a business, so you don't know how these things go. I understand, understand. Because I understand money velocity, and when money stops, whoa, bad, bad, bad things happen. And for many businesses, money stopped. For many businesses, money hit the earth. So these economic clocks, they're about to go boom. We've got the Rona still out there, still activated, still taking people out. We got high unemployment that is still being added to. We have the expiration of stimulus packages. So I'm going to be very interested in watching what happens with Congress and the Donald. Because the Democrats, like, they've already been over and spanked both butt cheeks. Like, hey, we want to give you all a stimulus check. This, this is our thoughts on the opinion. And those pesky Republicans are saying, no, 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 no. We're going to wait a minute. We're going to look. We're going to observe what the first stimulus package did. We're gonna see how that went down. 
then we're going to reevaluate and ponder. And this could potentially happen. Like, you know, Donald wants to give a check and the GOP Senate doesn't. So the reality of politics is about to become into clear view. I want you to understand. You, the American people, got 350 million people, 350 billion. Corporate America, between the Fed and the CARES Act, got 6.3 trillion. So do the math, do the calculation. America, you need to become a corporate citizen so that Congress will give a damn about you. Because is you just regular America, just a mass of sweaty, hot votes that they only need every two to four to five years. You know, once they, you know, they'll do enough to get your vote. Once you get their vote, they'll be forgotten about. Unless you were corporate America, corporate America getting the trillions and y'all got billions. Do the math. Who do you think Congress is really looking out for? And this is both the Democrats and the Republicans. They're looking out for their corporate citizens. The Fed is doing double monkey backflips all over the stock market to keep it up, to keep these 8,000 companies solvent, keep them in a state of liquidity, keep it going while the other 22 million businesses in America you own your own player. You own your own. You better call Tyrone or you better call Jerome because the Fed over here too busy doing double monkey backflips for these major corporate citizens in the stock market. But we will see what's going to happen. We will understand very shortly which one of these economic bombs are going to go off. And I think the first one is you ain't getting no additional. I mean, that's going to hurt, man. There's some people who have been living the La Vida Loca on that additional $600. Per month. It was like, I've been seeing posts on Facebook and Instagram. I've never made this much money in my life. I want you to hear that again. Let me repeat that. I've never made this much money in my life. This is going to be a painful, painful breakup between the unemployment offices in America. Will y'all break up and you go back to regular unemployment benefits, which will expire in six months? Tick, 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 tick. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly, 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 ugly. So what is one to do? You need to start a business. We've, we've had this conversation. I've told you this multiple times. I've been talking about it for 10 years and many people are not listening and many people are being forced to listen because right now we're going to have more entrepreneurs of by force than we've ever had in history. One of the things I've noticed is the increasing number of YouTube ads. There are people I've never seen before running ads, running there. So expect that to grow. And YouTube is only, well, it was before the Rona, was only selling 30% of his YouTube ad capacity. So they had a lot that was wide open. But you, you got to start a business. You, you got to start a business. So one of the things I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to do some financial consulting. This will be off of the Savage Finance Profile. As, you know, there, there will be consulting and it will consist of three 30 minute phone calls. It's a thousand bucks. And the first part of the conversation is, where are you? You gotta figure out where you are. I'm gonna have you get all your credit card statements. Get, you know, we're gonna dive into the deep, deep numbers of where you are. And then I'm gonna make a recommendation. Then the second phone call, we're gonna try to execute a plan because see this this is one of the things before you try to execute a business plan you got to know your numbers you got to know where you are you, you've got to have 
some ability to know what's going on. So we're going to do that. And then in the third conversation, we're going to work out a, a long-term game plan. But, you know, if you're not ready for all that, because, you know, it costs to chit chat. I don't talk for free. Go below, get 30 days to 2,500. Get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. Go ahead and get that. And there was someone's like, Glenda, are you gonna keep these courses free forever? What are you waiting on? It's free right now. Go ahead and get it and go through the course and do what you need to do. What are you waiting on? Don't be asking me, because I'm not gonna answer that question. And when you email me one of these long soliloquies about your business and five, I'm not interested in that stuff either. I'm giving you a course that can help you make money, man. Do the work. Take the course. Do it. I'm not going to hold your penis while you go pee. All right. Shake it for me, Glennon. I'm not doing all that. Come on, people. You got to step it up. Step up your game. Take the course. Go through the days. Join the Facebook group. Talk to other people who are taking the course. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. And I will talk to you guys in the very near future. Probably long before some of these bombs start going off, because these bombs, it's going to be nasty. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be nasty. All right, so that's all I got for you guys. Check this video out right here.